Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be some about just the first impressions on the new NARS Afterglow palette that I picked up at Sephora. This is a palette that launched recently. You, I'm sure you've seen it all over the internet. Sephora probably sent you an email about it. It is, it is the Afterglow uh, palette. It has the most beautiful packaging. It reminds me of gingerbreads. I love this. I never get tired of this burnt orange color, really. I just don't. It gets me every time. It may be a weakness of mine. I I just love it. This palette retails for $59. I bought it at Sephora. I'm not sure if it's at any other retailer because this is supposedly exclusive to Sephora, but that is, as we all know, subject to change. <laughs> so maybe it might be available at NARS or Nordstrom, depending. And I just kind of wanted you guys to see these colors um, with natural lighting because it really picks up the beautiful tone of these two shades right here and this one. Honestly, I just my eyes gravitate to those shades. I love it. These two, these three shades right here are so beautiful. This is a very strong like gold color and you've got a really like shimmery one over here. They have such beautiful like shifting, like a shifting tone to it. So I'm really excited to play around with this palette, give you my first impressions, um, you know, look on it really quick. And I also picked up the Afterglow Lip Balm in Wicked Ways. And this is the deepest shade in the range. This is more like a black lip balm, but not really. It, I feel like it applies. The bullet is very dark, but the when it applies, it's like a very deep, deep purple. I really like it. I've never tried one of these before, so we'll see how good they are. The palette retails for $59. I purchased this with a Sephora gift card I had, so I really only paid $9 for this palette. And uh, the lip balm each retail for $28. So without further ado, let's get started. I've already applied my Bare Minerals Original Foundation with the Mineral Veil. I've moisturized, primed my face, and my eyelids, I'm gonna pick up my hair because I cannot do my makeup with my, my hair on my face. Okay, so let's get started. The first color I'm gonna use, I'm gonna be using a Real Techniques, let me see what brush this is. A deluxe crease brush. This is just a brush I had in my collection. I'm going to go ahead and dip into, let's see, Trouble, right here. Now, I know the camera is not picking up on the prettiness of that color, but this is a very, like, peachy, soft peachy shade with the slightest shimmer. And so I'm gonna apply that on my lid. See? And this is really, really pigmented. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just dust that all over my lid. So far, so good. That shadow didn't give me a lot of kick up, so that's a good sign. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same to the other side. Let me get closer. And I'm really lightly tapping my brush into these shades because we all know that NARS eyeshadows are very pigmented, so use a light hand. <laughs> all right. Now I'm going to go ahead and with the same, okay, I'm going to do that after because I have other plans. 
I'm just winging this. Like I've never done this look before. This is a true real first impressions on an eyeshadow palette that I literally just got. I've never used it before. I'm going to go in with a crease brush from Bare Minerals. This is Shade and Diffuse Eye Brush. The Shade and Diffuse Eye Brush. I love this brush. I have like two of them. And I'm going to go into... Hmm... I'm gonna go into this color right here which is actually one of the colors I'm most excited to try this color is called hotline and I'm gonna go ahead and with a light hand I'm just gonna tap my brush into it and I'm gonna go into uh, my crease with that color yep that is so beautiful i'm gonna get a little bit more and just really blend that in and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side Now it's the weather outside really sucks and this is like the only little break I got where the sun is sort of kind of like peeking through and so I said let me take advantage. All right so with the same um I did get a little bit of kick up with uh that shade so you know what are we gonna do with the same um brush I'm gonna go into this hot fuchsia like pink color here in deep cut and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it into my crease as well I have no idea what I'm doing so we'll see how this comes out well yeah it's been raining really really hard yesterday it was literally storming all day it was so dark I couldn't sit down and film this video and so this morning I was like let me run and take advantage of what's happening right now and here we are all right now i'm gonna go into this um deep coppery shade right here which is called guayaquil and that's i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that right i was that was me in my very roughy spanish tone and i'm going to use that color to deepen this up a little bit and give it a little bit of depth yeah i mean i i just i love the whole color scheme of this right now I feel like I can create so many looks. It's the perfect palette for fall going into like January because you've got all these like hot pink tones. And see how like these three colors blend together so, so pretty. I'm gonna zoom it like just, you know, get a little bit closer so that you guys can see how that how pretty it this um color has deepened out all those all those three shades now these shadows you really need to use a light hand because they are very 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 pigmented all right now i'm gonna go in with let me get another shadow brush and this is just a Too Faced um, clean uh, shadow brush that I have. I'm gonna go into, I have to blow, blow off some of the kickback that I had. I'm gonna go into this um, first shade right here which is called First Taste and this is like a very light shimmery shade. I'm gonna see if I can use this to highlight my brow bone here okay I don't know because it doesn't look very sparkly but what I'm gonna do is use it to diffuse the edges of my eyeshadow see what happened there 
all right so i can't use this really as a highlight this is more of like a lid uh all over lid wash but it does help with soft softening up those edges so that's exactly what i'm going to use it for And just gonna diffuse this with the brush, which with whatever is left over. Oh, sorry. Okay, so now that I've softened that up, I'm actually gonna go in with my ring finger and I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Push It. Now I know it looks very pink in the camera, but actually when you're looking at it, it has some fuchsia flex in there. Kind of like this sort of like tone, but sparkly. I'm gonna just use my finger and I'm gonna pat that on the eyelid. See, ooh, how sparkly it is. So I'm just gonna apply that just on the first portion of my lid. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And I used my finger because I wanted the color to be a little bit more intense. But look how pretty that looks. I really, really like it. And if you like, if you're a sucker for warm tone palettes like I am, it's going to get you. It's gonna get you all right so the next shade that I'm gonna go into is going to be the fuchsia color actually I don't know I'm using my morphe m431 pencil brush and I don't know what I want to smudge under my underline or if I want to smudge anything at all actually hmm what what to do well now that we're in the festive mood and this is like a very festive sort of eye look what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and drag this um gold shade on the lower lash line and let's see how that plays out because this is one of those like super shock shades and I don't know, but we'll see. And I'm just doing it to the end right here. Oh, I'm also gonna go ahead and grab that and put that in the inner corner of the eye. Okay, so with the brush, it's not really picking up that color and it's not really applying it. It's kind of just, it's kind I'm sorry that I put that in front of your face, but it's kind of just sitting there. So I'm gonna try something else. I think that that's kind of like a shade that you're gonna have to use your finger for and apply to the lids, not one that you can really use on the lower uh, lash line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the deepest shade right here, which is uh, whipped. And that is a very deep matte shade. And I'm going to go ahead and use that on the lower lash line. Yeah much better and I'm gonna drag it in I didn't add any more color because this color is so pigmented okay now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side This um, shade didn't give me uh, too much kick up. You see? Very lightly, I dragged that in. 
and I diffused it. All right, am I done with this look? I feel like I wanna add like a little gold somewhere, but I'm really afraid to dip into this shade. <laughs> um, you know what, I'm gonna go in with my finger into, uh, what, is this, what is this one called? This is the last one down here in the corner. Okay, this one has a very weird name. It's the gold shade in the palette um, by, a dare, by a Dairy. I don't know. I'm gonna use again um, the same ring finger I used to dip into the other one. I'm gonna dip into this super shock one. Like, look at, look at that. If my camera would focus. It's like very, very sparkly. Can you guys see that? I'm sorry that you can't, it's not picking it up, but there we go. It's like very, very, very metallic, very sparkly shade. I'm gonna apply it just to the end right here. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. So I couldn't use it on the lower lash line. It would not stick. Uh, but it works perfectly if you just apply it with your finger and just at the end here just to fuse those colors together so let me close my eyes this is the finished eyeshadow look. Now I did get some fallout because when you deal with all of these sparkly shades, that's usually what happens. So I'm just gonna go in with a clean brush and sweep away any like excess fallout. And I'm gonna go ahead and do apply my mascara and give me brow off camera and I'll be back with the cute finished look, but I won't apply the lipstick. I'll do that with you on camera, okay? Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So I applied some mascara, some Benefit Give Me Brow. I didn't apply any eyeliner because I really, really liked this, I'm gonna get close, this diffused like color, you know, with that deep shade that I did. I think it's so cute. It creates sort of like a haze that I really, 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 really like. Now, my final thoughts on the first impression of this palette. So I found it a little bit challenging and a good way to use this palette and it's really because this palette is a little bit out of my comfort zone these shades are a lot more pigmented a lot more deeper than i really expected but all in all i really love this look that i created this is a look that i would wear during the day that's just me like if you're somebody who likes colors that are just much more muted, I don't really think that you're going to get that with this palette. Like the colors in this palette are very, very pigmented and very deep. Like the lightest shade here are these three colors and the shimmers are also very light, but they're very pigmented. So in my opinion, I think that this is a very versatile palette because if I really wanted to keep it very, very muted, I would have stuck to these shades right here in this area and down here. Although this has a nice punch of color, but it's not crazy. But what I like about it is that you also have these very deep pops of color down here here and this gold is very good but you have to apply it with your finger i found that with a brush it just doesn't work and i don't have max uh mac fix plus um uh the spray 
but if you have it at home i'm sure it would work great with this shade and you don't have to use your finger however if this is not really your style i completely understand because these shades are really deep and you feel like you're not going to get a lot of use out of them 59 dollars is a lot of money for a palette that you're not going to like fully take advantage of and use so i completely understand that however I am gonna get full use <laughs> of all of these shades. I really love this look. I think it was so pretty. Um, the two like sh super shock shades here, it's gonna be this like very deep um, coppery one up here, which is Hotline, and this gold one down here, which has that weird name called Bayadere or Bayadere. I don't know. Um, so those two are like super super shock like shadows um these right here these uh let me see let me look at it in light these three actually right here have a lot of like shimmer in it um but they're more like a shadow they have like a metallic effect uh to them you've got this shade this shade these three shades right here and this one up here are matte shades this shade and this shade uh, and this shade are like satin finish shades and that's from like what I felt and like touched you know on my finger when I used it and I swatched it in the store um, but yeah I really like this palette I think it's super cool I love the packaging it's absolutely awesome but without further ado let's try the lip balm I got for the collection and let's see how this applies shall we Let me use a mirror in this because I don't have anything else <laughs> now these lip balms launched with the palette very moisturizing so far I'm sorry they my hair keeps getting in my mouth Mm. Okay, so it's very, very pigmented. For what it is, this is also the deepest shade. The other ones really didn't show up on my skin. And paying $28 for a lip balm that I can't really see on my lips is not really worth it for me. I like this um, color. It's like a, like a deep plum. I would say right the only thing I'm a little bit worried about because I've never used this is is it going to bleed is it going to run like is it gonna accumulate like on the corners of my lips which that tends to happen with very moisturizing um, buttery lip balms like this so we shall see I'll keep you posted on on this but yeah guys um, this completes the look of this um, First Impressions NARS eyeshadow palette. I love the way that this feels on the lips, so I do have to give it that. Um, but honestly, I don't think I will be repurchasing any of these ever again for $28. Just because, I don't know, it's... I feel like the color range is not big enough. I really was hoping for like... A deep mauvey like a mauvey color and this is like a deep plum color I'm okay with it I like it but I don't love it and that's really what it comes down to I don't absolutely love it but I'm still gonna use it I'm still gonna test it out I'll get back to you guys on how this performs but this right here I absolutely love 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 and i cannot wait to get tons of use out of this palette i'm gonna do a close-up so that you all can see this is it's just scrumptious it's scrumptious that's all i can say and now i'm gonna be inserting arm swatches along with the names of each shadow stay tuned all right so I'm back with some arm swatches 
And we're going to start with the first shade right here, which is a very like satin shade. I don't know if the sun is sort of picking that up. This color is First Taste. Then the second shade here is Shadow Hill. It's a very warm brown. The third color, which is one of my favorite colors here, is Hotline. Very shimmery orange burnt shade there. Then this is a deepest matte in the collection. This is a very deep brown in the color Whipped. And then the next shade, which will then be moving on to the second row of the palette, is Crushed, which is a very muted orange uh, transition shade, which is what I would use that color for. The next color next to it is called Mad Love, which is a very light um, pink, which to me is a matte, another one of the matte shades in the palette. And then we have this really pretty shimmery shade here in Push It, which has that fuchsia uh, flex under it, which the camera sort of is not picking up, but you'll see it in person if you ever pick up this palette or see it at Sephora. The next color is Riding High, and this is another like satin pink shade which is very pretty this is the very super shock gold shade that i had to apply with my finger and this is in the color by a dairy and then the next color in the palette is this beautiful peach shade it is another satin shade and that is in trouble and the next, the fuchsia shade here is another satin shade and that is in deep cut. And the next and final shade in the palette right here, it is one of my, also one of my favorites, which is a very deep burnt um, shade and that is called Guayaquil. So this is the arm swatches. And I have light to medium um, skin tone. I just haven't gotten sun in a while, but when I do, I really do get two or three shades darker. And these are finger swatches with no primer applied to my skin. So as you can see, the pigmentation on this is pretty damn good. I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the fact that this video is all over the place. <laughs> um, but I had to get on camera after the swatches because I wanted to go ahead and correct um, my final opinion about the lip balm. I don't necessarily think that I don't like it. Uh, I'm just going to say that I don't like it with this look. Maybe I would like this with another look. Keep, you know, just stay tuned. So what I did was I switched out my lip color and the lip color I'm wearing is Morocco by NARS. And I got this off of the NARS website. It is a beautiful matte sort of uh, gingerbread uh, shade. And I switched out the color of my lips and I absolutely love the color of this look. I'm gonna go ahead and close my eyes one more time so that you guys can see the eyeshadows and how well they blended. I love the little like haze under the eyes that I achieved with the Morphe pencil brush, but I really, really love this look. I foresee myself recreating this look very often in the fall um so yes that's what i wanted to come back and just correct because i think it kind of wasn't fair to the product this is a first impressions video so you know my first impression i feel like with this look this is not a shade i would have chosen as my lip color for this for this look but i will be using this with other looks and then i will keep you posted anyways thank you so much for watching let me know if you've picked up this palette and if you've used it and if you like it what your thoughts are down below and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and see you in my next one bye